You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition weekly spoilers for the week of Monday, November 27th through Friday, December 1st. We've got a lot to unpack. There's big action on front burner storylines, and I it looks like we're actually going to get, by the way, a brand new Thanksgiving episode on Thursday the 23rd. As of right now, it looks like they are actually airing a Thanksgiving episode. It has been for ever since they have aired an episode. So I don't know if they're trying to make up for a past preemption or I don't know. I'm I'm excited about it. Um, so I can take a break from Turkey and, and watch my soap and you guys can too. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates, spoilers, casting news, and more. So real quick this week on Wednesday, we are going to have Sunny making Sasha an offer and Jordan asking Laura for help. Dante gets a lead in Anna's case, but is this the case of the arson or the shooting? Or because, you know, Anna, it actually looks like Charlotte may not have burned the house. So that means that's still a question mark. And Anna and Valentine get into it. She's already broken up with him, and it looks like she may show up at the hospital because she's still, you know, she was trying to talk to Charlotte, and Valentine's going to be pretty, pretty nasty to Anna and basically tells her to go away. He does not want her talking to his daughter. So that should be a whole lot of interesting. And then right now on Thursday, it looks like still a new episode. We've got Gloria Cirillo in town played by Ellen Travolta. She's going to help with the turkey over at the Q house. Valentine questions Charlotte and I'm sure Nina is going to tell him what she already heard and then he's going to question her. And I think, of course, everybody's very interested to know whether or not she burned the house down. She insists that she didn't and she's appalled that people think she did. Apparently, she's just been doing vandalism stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So Robert surprises Anna on Thursday. And then on Friday, we are preempted. No new GH because there is football, 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 as there always is the day after Thanksgiving. Now let's dig into next week. Monday, November 27th, it's more Thanksgiving Day action in Port Charles, and Marshall is worried about his son, Curtis Ashford. And, I mean, there's a lot to be worried about. Curtis looks like that he wants to get back involved into trying to crack the case of who put the bullet in him. You know, there's still that debate is, was Sonny the target? Was Anna the target? Curtis wasn't the target because it was a ricocheted bullet that hit him, but he, he wants answers about what What's happened to his life and you can't really blame him and meanwhile Gloria tells her daughter Lois that she's in some trouble she's in some kind of hot water so <sighs> I'm a little bothered by this not that I don't you know want the Cirillos around but we have so many storylines on General Hospital we don't really need some rando from the past dropping in with yet another storyline I mean let me know in the comments what you guys think but it's like we we, we need closure we don't need more crap <laughs> happening and starting so unless Unless it's just something they can solve in two episodes, I'm not here for it. And because she's a temporary character who's leaving, I, I don't know if I'm going to be invested in it. You know, it's like General Hospital needs fewer people and fewer storylines, more closure, more logic, better written storylines. That's my soapbox. I'll get off of it now. Tuesday, November 28th, we have Dante getting some worrisome news. Now, there's so many, again, so many things going on right now. This could be about Anna's case. This could be about Austin shooting. This could be stuff about Cyrus. This could be stuff about, you know, things that are going on with Ava. And of course, Dante is going to be taking a look at Ava pretty soon and grilling her about about this shooting, I, she might have done it. It's not that she wouldn't shoot somebody, but I just don't think she did it. Wednesday, November 29th, we have got Martin helping Finn with his malpractice case. So what's weird is Alexis had talked to Diane and she talked Diane into taking the case, but I guess at the time she agreed to take the case, she didn't know who the plaintiffs were. And then once she found out their name, they were somebody that she already does legal business for. So there's a conflict of interest and she can't take the case, which is a shame because Diane is a shark, but so is Martin Gray. So he is going to be working with Finn. And I, I think that's pretty interesting. I like I like Martin. I don't know if, how I feel about that foghorn, leghorn, bad southern accent. So, you know, I got, I have family in Georgia and even on their worst day, they don't sound that crazy. He reminds me of Matlock. 
You remember that old legal show? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. He's also wearing Matlock suits. And why, with that thick as molasses Southern accent, does Cyrus not have a Southern accent, right? Weird, huh? Because they grew up together. They grew up in the same home. And because I remember they said that their parents, I think, tossed Cyrus out for his bad behavior when he was a teenager. You know, they're relatively close in age. So how is it that they have drastically different accents? What I just I don't even know what they're thinking with this kind of thing. They could actually have Martin like lighten his accent, lighten it, lighten it, lighten it, until it's it's gone. And then maybe we wouldn't notice because right now I notice I can't not hear it. That same day, speaking of extraneous storylines, we don't need Gloria gets help from family. And that means from BLQ and from Lois. I'm fine with relatives dropping into town for holidays. That's fine. But don't bring a brand new storyline with you. Don't pack that in your bag when you come to town. <laughs> We don't need your baggage. All right. Thursday, November 30th, Portia has some advice for TJ. Of course, TJ is very upset that their surrogate miscarried the baby, and he is going to disagree with Molly about something. I feel like one of them is going to want to immediately try again to find another surrogate, and the other is not going to want to. And I think it's TJ that's probably going to want to try to find a way to move forward. And he's going to talk to Portia. They are colleagues at work and you know they have some family members in common so it's natural that he would talk to her about this that same day Sonny is making big plans for Christmas Eve so I don't know you know I mean he already got married so maybe it's he wants to have a big family Christmas Eve and that has me wondering gosh when is this SEC thing going to come out because Ned was fully ready to spill the beans this week and then he got so PO'd at Michael and Drew that he just forgot about it and he stormed away so Nina lives to scheme another day because Ned can't you know he's too ADD (laughs) he could just stop right there and 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 tell them but what's funny is Drew remains convinced after that interaction after Ned explodes he remains convinced that Ned called the SEC on them and if you remember Tracy was excited at the idea that he did like she was proud of him because it's totally something she would have done but he didn't but he's going to keep sitting on it because he's distracted by the whole drama with ELQ and stuff that Michael's been doing in his absence. We are going to round out next week on Friday, December 1st with someone making a proposition to Sonny. Again, so many plot lines. I mean, I I doubt it's Cyrus because they just had a whole nasty confrontation where Sonny was like, you're not going to do this and you're not going to do this or else... I don't think Sonny knows that Cyrus has this whole Pawtuck hillbilly mafia on his side. I feel like there's a mob war coming. Could be Selena Wu. We haven't seen her in a minute. You know, probably not Carly. Maybe Michael. (sighs) Maybe Nina. I I don't even know. So maybe it has to do with his his Christmas Eve plans. And Carly has an interesting run in at Kelly's. Maybe it's Cyrus. I don't know. Maybe it's Ned. That would be very interesting because Ned might be tempted to tell Carly, but maybe not while he's still so mad at Drew. We'll see how it works out. That is all the early spoilers I have for you. I will have a full roster of weekly spoilers for you on Friday, and then I'll have two-week spoilers, casting news, everything you know need to know to get ready for next week. And I hope you guys are busy making desserts and getting ready for Thanksgiving. And the good news is, if you uh, like coming in here to talk soaps, is we will have brand new soaps coverage on Thanksgiving Day because we talk soap seven days a week, 365 days a year. So be sure and drop by on Thanksgiving when you're all full of turkey and want something to relax and listen to. Come back soon. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments below about what you're excited to see next week and tune in again. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.